Hello everyone and welcome to another development update for Shadow Heroes Vengeance in Flames where you get the behind the scenes access to all the things we are currently working on on the game. So I have two things to talk about today and that's first of all that Alex isn't here right now. Alex is visiting his family and friends out in Romania so he's got quite a time difference on us right now. I think it's uh, six or seven hours actually uh, that he's ahead of us. Uh, so that kind of throws a little bit more of a Let's, let's, let's go with a challenge to us because he's so far ahead in the time zone and, the, you know, communication becomes a bit of an issue. We still talk through Skype and video chats and that type of thing as well. Uh, plus, we have our development wiki. We're actually set up so that we can handle uh, people from anywhere in the world uh, working on the project. Just, you know, it's it's better to have somebody right next to you. you can, if you have a question, you just yell at them or hit them or something like that. That's, that's you know, it's maybe not be... Maybe not quite as friendly, but at least it's it's effective. Uh, so there is that that's going on. And then also, I did a development build, so I can actually show you guys what's going on with the status effects. So let's switch over to there and do a quick play in, and we should get this. And just increase the size a little bit so at least we can see what's going on. So this is going to spawn an exorcist and a chanter uh, for both sides, uh, just so we can do a quick little example of exactly what's going on. Now the chanter's particle effect is not exactly up to par with what I would like to have, and they're all going to meet up over here because I've run this test a number of times now, uh, and I know that just from the distances they're going to meet up right here in the middle of the map. Uh, but, uh, basically what's happening is you'll see that the chanter herself has no defense, but as soon as she starts chanting, she goes up and up and up and up. So that's one of the effects. As well as the exorcist, you'll see he's kind of fluctuating as well. Because when the other exorcist is hitting him, uh, he's actually getting buffs and then removing buffs. So both of them going up and down, up and down. And these are all going to stack. So right now this chanter is going to have 8, 6, 8, 10, uh, and it keeps increasing and decreasing. Uh, because of just the, the time span that are on these. So right now we have uh, chanters going uh, and buffing everybody around them. Anybody that's inside of this big ring is going to gain plus one defense, plus one defense, plus one defense, over and over and over again, up to five. Uh, but they are going to wear out over time. So you'll see that if they start moving away, whoops, all right. Uh, as soon as they start moving, it actually kind of starts dropping out. And even now, because there's a whole bunch of them, they are going to start dropping out as well. So the idea behind this is that exorcists are able to kind of help eliminate some of that. Uh, not completely, but it is going to help quite a bit. Uh, because just getting rid of that one extra defense is going to help no matter what. It's it gives you a way of basically penetrating through that armor. Now this side is basically going to start steamrolling right now because we don't have any of the area effect in right now. Uh, as you can tell, it's very easy to do area of effect, just we need to actually program that in for the paladins again. Uh, so kind of dealing with chanters, a good way of doing it is area of effect damage as well as uh, kind of the exorcists being able to debuff. If you have way more exorcists than you do chanters, then it's definitely something you can do. You can get two and a half exorcists for every one chanter, so uh, it's just where you decide to spend your money. And there's going to be some balancing stuff to go on as well. Uh, so yeah, we're probably going to fix these particle effects because this is a rather old one, and it did look good. Uh, I don't like it quite as much anymore. Uh, there's actually words hidden in amongst it. Uh, this is all written in our ancient Hendrickin uh, font, and uh, I think it says one is defense, one is safety and then there's another one that's kind of moving around inside of here that's supposed to be outside just hasn't scaled properly uh, I believe that one is something else but say along the same lines uh, so it's all supposed to be defensive words that are kind of all around her so we're gonna be changing this part of collect as well because like this the bluey glowy effect thing is really intrusive as well we don't want it to be quite that bright uh, so we're gonna make it a lot more subtle try and make it so that these things don't kind of just go around and, and as it stands right now it's a rather expensive particle effect because this is actually written on the side of a uh, kind of a mesh actually so it's written along it uh, and yeah we don't really want that to happen so at least the buffs and debuffs you can see that these guys defenses are getting up to like 40s so nobody's really doing any damage to anybody 
Like, it's going to take 10 hits for him to take a damage. Even though there's two people hitting him. Oh, there you go, he went down one. So this is kind of turned into a stalemate because everybody's being stuck behind the chanters over here for no apparent reason. Uh, but we did talk to Epic, and kind of the steering control is going to be coming in next week. Or not next week, next month. And that's kind of the way that it's going to work. So... Uh, with that steering control, we're going to be able to have units move around each other and uh, kind of navigate a little bit more. And yeah, it's going to be really good. The AI is going to improve like tenfold as of next month, as soon as that uh, that build comes in. And things are going to be looking good. We can really start controlling where the AI is going rather than shortest distance from point A to point B, which is kind of what they're doing right now. And they're also doing it in a very expensive way. Like every tick, they're trying to figure out what's the shortest way to that point from here. And that's definitely not the way that you want to do it because that's a lot of CPU thread kind of taken up. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of where we stand right now. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's kind of a you know holiday season, so we're going to be in and out as well as we're... Uh, we don't have Alex here as well. So we may not get a video out every single day but we're going to try our best to uh just if there's no content to really show then we're not going to put one out but then we'll have twice as or we'll have twice the content that we usually would have had i guess kind of uh out the the next day or the day after that and depending on what we end up actually doing uh, i just don't want to put out videos that are going to be look we did like this little tiny thing today because we were out doing other stuff instead it's, it's, it's just not not exactly the best thing that we want to do so uh, that's our update for today i uh, hope you guys understand exactly what's going on here right now uh, and kind of approve of what we're doing uh, hopefully you like what you're seeing so far uh, and yeah so leave a comment tell us what you think and see you guys next time bye